Bassett, California. It's not a big area. It's not well known. But it's there. If you ask Google what it is, it'll tell you it's an unincorporated community in the San Gabriel Valley. But most people see it as a city. It kind of is its own city. It has its own park. Bassett Park. It has a basketball gym that got renovated a couple years ago. It got new hoops, new nets, new floor, new painting. But it's still always empty, much like the rest of the park. Outside the gym, there's tables for gatherings and parties, barbecue pit and all. Of course, the park has a playground. This was recently renovated as well. It used to be a mess. Now it's better. With the renovations, the park got a new little water zone that can be used just about all year round here in Southern California. On the other side of the park, there's a workout area if you want to get in shape. There's body weight workouts and cardio machines. At the back of the park, there's a skating ramp. There's rules to the skating area, but they're hardly ever followed. Most of the time, there's just kids running around and playing on the ramp. Bassett Park even has adult soccer leagues that play all throughout the week. If any area of the mostly empty park is being used, it's most likely the soccer fields. Across Bassett Park is the Violent Swamp Meet where you have to pay to get in. This place is always jumping. There's a spot where people can eat and dance to Spanish music. It's always full. When the Swamp Meet is cleared out, the lot turns into one of my favorite places. The Violin Drive-In Movie Theater. It's cool having one of these in the area. There's not too many around. It shows all the new movies the day they're released and always have double features. The local high school, Bassett High, has a bad reputation, but it's not too bad anymore. Bassett used to be heavily gang ridden, and you can see it by the markings in the concrete. Walking around looking at the ground, you'll definitely see some BG carvings. About 10 years ago, the high school started holding a swamp meet of their own. Though there's not much to offer there. If you're in need, you could get yourself a mattress and some pillows. Some clothes. Headwear. Speakers and seats and tires. Or even get some flowers for the house. Down Valley Avenue, you'll find the Bassett Auto Shop. The most popular attraction down Valley in Bassett, however, might be the Bliss Showgirl Strip Club. If you're leaving Valley and head down Puente Avenue, You'll reach Puente and Amar Road. That's what I like to call downtown Bassett. There's a G&D Burgers, who's probably most well known for the teriyaki bowls. There's a Yum Yums, that's the morning go-to spot for Bassett High students. Next to that, there's the hood famous Connie's Barbershop. And the hood famous liquor store. Outside it just says liquor, but if you're from the area, you know it as Elliot's Liquor. Next to that, there's another barbershop and cleaners. The cleaners been owned by the same people for most of my life. Moving down Amar Road, you run into Rincon Tarino, one of the popular taco spots in Bassett. Behind that, there's Camino Real, a small family-owned restaurant that's been in the area longer than I've been alive. Bassett even, re even recently got a McDonald's in the area. Of course, the McDonald's is popular, but not more popular than the famous 
Chris's Burgers. Chris is the spot. Before school, after school, after high school football games, midday, late nights. It really don't matter the time. If you go to Chris's, you'll see it's always, and I mean always, busy. Another staple in Bassett is the Mini Mall. The Mini Mall has everything. Mexican candy and chips. You know those bomb tasting chili candies? They have all that. Inside the Mini Mall, there's even jewelry spots. There's more spots for you to create your own decals for stickers or shirts. There's a snack zone with ice cream, nachos, and hot Cheetos with cheese, to name a few. Right next to that, there's a Chinese fast food spot. This little spot always has customers. Most of the time, people get their food to go, even though there's a little, little eating area. Even with the little, let's face it, junky areas, hardly used parks and cracked streets, to some people, Bassett is a place of comfort. To some people, Bassett is a place that holds their home. That's pretty much what it is for most of the people in the area. Bassett is home. <laughs>